guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey for anybody who's new and joining me here today. Thank you so much. My slogan is Believable Brown Beauty and I like to use makeup in kind of weird ways sometimes. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It just means that's the kind of makeup I do on this channel so if that sounds like something you'd like please keep watching. For today's video I've decided that I'm going to go back to my neutral roots. I've been looking at my videos recently and been like oh there's a lot of colour. I'm getting a bit nervous because um, if you cut me inside it will read neutral. I love a neutral palette. So today I'm going to do a much more tonal type of makeup. I'm feeling like I'm going to do a bit of a soft Arabic-ish kind of eye. That just basically means liner all the way around my eye. Like usual I never really know where it's going to go. I have a rough idea of how I want it to look at the end. So yeah let's just get on. Let's get into it. Right, I'm going to try oil again, but this time I'm only going to use a little bit because um, if you haven't watched my last video, go and watch it, but I was explaining that um, when I went to Zanessa's masterclass I saw her use oil all over the model's faces and I never use oil. But then I just thought about it in hindsight, you know, she was doing an editorial look, it's not really something that has to last or stay on for a long amount of time. Whereas if I'm doing this makeup today, please believe I'm not doing it twice. And I'm not like, I'm not a touchy up kind of girl. I like to just do my makeup once and not have to worry about it. I don't mind lips so much, but that whole like reconcealing, refoundationing, repowdering is just not what I do. So I'm gonna use less oil today. I'm gonna take my MAC um, concealer palette and I'm using the orange color in it. And I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of color correction down here. For me, it looks a tiny, tiny, tiny bit ashy. So I'm going to take some chili lipstick, which is a orangey red lipstick from MAC and just lightly stipple that over. And then taking the Expert Concealer Brush from Real Techniques and just blending in my concealer. Okay, so I forgot to hit record. I really don't know what was going on this day, but at this time in my makeup, I had just um, used my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand and my Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer um, number 10, just like on my cheekbones and a little bit underneath my brows. Sorry. Then just use my expert face brush to blend the edges away. I'm taking my Benefit 24 hour brow setter and I'm just going to set my brows. First, we all know we do Struggleina, the weakest brow. I'm going to leave that to set and now I'm going to move on to my skin. And I've been really loving this Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation. I use the colour G100 if anyone wants to know. And I'm just going to use my fingers and tap this on. Let's go back to my expert face brush and just buff that in. I've got this awful spot on the side of my face that is so painful that just came up yesterday because, you know, spots always come up for me the day before I'm filming. And just work it in. I love this foundation, but if you don't like the smell of coffee, I don't think you're going to like it because it smells really strongly of coffee. Oh, what was that? There was a sweet in the tin of Quality Street that used to be coffee flavoured. Was it, was it Quality Street or Roses? One of those two. You know those Christmas party chocolates that you always get? And there was a toffee one. No, it's not that. It is Revels. Yes, it smells like the coffee Revels sweet. That's exactly what it smells like. So if you don't like that smell, don't get this. Kind of like um, maple syrup and coffee together really blend along the jawline and in this area and you can see where I have colour corrected or colour balanced as I like to call it beforehand it looks much more uniform take a little bit of the leftovers just over this highlight here I'm not going to put any foundation on my forehead and I'll show you why later now let's get onto the eyes I'm taking coffee eye pencil from MAC and a smaller mirror because I can't see that far and I'm literally just drawing this on the outer corner of my eye. So it's a little bit along the lash line at the bottom. And then up to the crease there. I'm taking a 217 and I'm just blending that away. I'm going to do the same on this eye too. And you can see I'm kind of carrying it up towards the inner corner of my brows as well. And no products on the brush but running it under my lash line too. Okay, part one. I just realised I forgot to press record on that bit. So basically all I did was just put um, a black hole pencil in my waterline. You need to really concentrate and make sure you get all the little bits of skin in between your lashes because it needs to be a complete solid black line. 
I also forgot to tell you that I had put my eyeshadow on. It's only when I was editing it, I was looking at myself like, your eyes look different. But anyway, um, I used uh, eyeshadow from Makeup Forever and the colour was S706. And it's kind of like a light rust, like, yeah, like a light golden rust colour. Um, I put that on my eyelids and concentrated it on the parts that didn't really have any... Um, of the coffee eye pencil as the base and then I just kind of lightly brushed over where I had the pencil so it softened it and made it look like a little bit more dimensional but not really overly sculpted so yeah sorry about that guys I don't know how I managed to do that but that's what I did nothing like super fancy now I'm moving on to my top liner and I'm just using my Maybelline lasting gel drama liner in 01 black so let's get this flick on so now I've got this other line at the bottom as my guide. I can just use that to make sure that it connects to the top in a really nice way. This is my more difficult eye to do as well. So usually if I get it good on this eye, it means the other one's gonna go well. Could be my famous last words. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'm going to take a very well loved old MAC brush. I don't know what this number is, but it's like a 239. Take a tiny bit of my foundation and then just clean up underneath here. So that my lines look super sharp. Now I'm gonna go back to my brows and I'm using my Benefit uh, Precising My Brow Pencil in number five. I'm just going to lightly fill in my brows. When I'm doing strong eye looks like this, I don't like to have a really strong brow because it's too much competition on the face. So I'm going to keep the brows super, super soft. I don't like my brows too neat at the moment. I'm having a little bit of an, a love affair with an organic looking brow. So I haven't like shaped them for a while and I kind of like a few rogue hairs. When you work on shows, models often have brows that are a little bit like unruly and I think it's a bit more alluring. So that's what I'm trying to do, channeling supermodel eyebrows. I don't know if I'm getting there, but we shall see. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to lips. I've got lip balm on already, so I'm just gonna take that off with my fingers. I'm taking a 228 brush from MAC and a tiny bit more of the Colour Fix from Vanessa. I really like using this as a lip pencil, so that's what I'm going to do today. And then I just like to blend the edges. Okay, for lipstick, I'm taking Chili from MAC. And this is a colour that I never wore when I worked there. So I just want to see how this looks. It's quite an orangey, bricky red. It's nice. Now that I've got this colour on, the colour fix that I used as a lip liner looks too purple. So I'm going to change it. I need something that's a, a much truer brown, so I'm going to go back to my Costa Riche um, eye pencil and just go over that lip liner. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of Lady Danger as well. I'm also going to use Chili as my blush today as well, so I'm just going to put some of that on the back of my hand. Go back to my Expert Face Brush and just blend that all in. Okay, now that I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go back and finish my eyes. So I'm taking my In Extreme Dimension 3D. No, it's not. I'm taking my, oh God. I'm taking my Extended Play Mascara in Giga Black first. 
And for anyone who is new, I usually, not always, but I usually use two mascaras when I put my mascara on. And I start off with this one first. So you get lots of definition and separation. It's also a water resistant um, mascara. So if any of you guys have um, trouble with mascara smudging, especially on your lower lashes, this is a really good one to get. So I'll just pop that on first. Then I'm gonna go over with my In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. This is from MAC 2. I like layering mascara the same way I love layering and perfume as well. They're both pretty on their own, but they do, you know, something special happens when you use them both together. I forgot one step with my eye makeup and I just noticed it then when I was doing my mascara, but I need to go in and tight line, which is the thing I hate to do, but it makes such a difference to the look. So excuse me, my face goes weird when I do this because I really don't like doing this to myself. But it's worth it. It just tickles so much. And um, like my eyes always water as well. That's the worst bit. Ugh. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and set. So first of all, we're gonna set the under eyes. I'm just gonna re-blend any concealer and I think I might put a tiny bit more. Just to really make that black pop. And I'm pushing this concealer right up to the black. Then I'm taking my Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. And this is a 228, I think. Yeah, from Zoeva. And just setting right underneath. Then I'm taking another Louise Young brush. This is an LY49A. And I'm just using my Cover Effects Matte Setting Powder now, and I'm really pushing that into the side of my face. This is basically where I get shiny first. So using a mattifying powder here is gonna help my makeup stay looking matte for longer. Like realistically matte, I don't do like completely 100% matte, because that's weird. I'm gonna take the same color on my forehead and you remember I didn't put any products on my forehead and but I find for me like a tiny bit of powder kind of does the job sometimes I wear products and other times I don't it just depends what mood I'm in today I was in a no foundation on the forehead mood right just going underneath my blush oh and on the end of my nose so I don't like it shiny and just sweeping that over the mineralized powder to blend the two of them together then I'm going to the Danessa Myricks um, Evolution Powder in 05, which is really red and warm. And I'm just gonna use this kind of like as a bronzer to color my forehead a little bit and take down the shine. And use it a tiny bit on underneath my blush to bronze there as well. It's kind of like a, a sculpting, not really bronzing. And then on my jawline, because the lower half of my face is a little bit darker. Then I'm gonna go back to the Zoeva brush, the 228, and some of the Evolution powder. And then just in there where we did the pencil originally, blend that up. And I'm just gonna take a spoolie this eyebrow looks a little bit weird, so let's just go and touch that up as well. So there you have it guys, this is the final look for this week. Um, yeah, it's still quite a dramatic makeup and I really like the liner around the eye because this is something that I never do. I'm a bit of a creature of habit. So when I wear eyeliner, I generally always wear top liner and maybe like a tiny bit smudged underneath and cold pencil on the inside but I never wear like this wraparound liner because I feel like I don't know it just doesn't feel like me but actually now that I've done it today I really really like it so yeah I'm really happy with that and also this lipstick that you know I worked at MAC for 
over a decade, a long time, and I never ever wore this colour because I just thought like orange base red on me is going to be hideous. But actually I really like the colour and you know, when I do these videos, like I kind of have a rough idea what I'm going for, but it doesn't always work out the same way that I think it is. So I have to change it like you saw with the lip. But what I want to do is to, as much as I'm kind of like showcasing a look, I want to teach myself something and break out of my comfort zone as well, because it's really easy to be good at what you know to do. And it's much more difficult to try new things. So whether that's a new technique or a new color, I don't ever want to get comfortable and just do stuff that doesn't challenge me so yeah this was really really fun today um i hope you enjoyed the look also if you don't follow me on my instagram um i'll leave my handle for you here i do live makeups on sunday mornings at 9 30 gmt so if you want to have a little chat and watch me do makeup in real time you can follow me there um i think that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and hit the notification bell and i'll see you on the next one bye